The world hit a major milestone as Great Britain became the first country to officially approve a fully tested vaccine. So big congratulations, Britain. It's amazing how much you can get done when you don't waste time combing your hair. And you know, this is really, really great news for the world, unless Britain decides to use this opportunity to get revenge. So it turns out we've gotten the vaccine and we will be handing it out to all of our colonies. All of, oh, oh, that's right. You didn't want to be colonies anymore. Oh, look at that. I guess more vaccine for me. Oh, ah, uh, oh, how you like that now, India? So safety and precaution is fantastic, but there is one country who might be taking their precautions a little too far. Belgium is putting a four-person limit on holiday parties during the coronavirus pandemic. Officials say all gatherings must be held outdoors in a yard or garden, and only one guest will be allowed to enter the house to use the bathroom during the entire party. If you really have to go to the toilet, there will be nothing else to do but return home, said a government spokesperson. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Only one person at the party is allowed to use the bathroom? That is a terrible idea! For starters, how do they decide? Who gets to be the designated bathroom user, huh? Does the host tell you in advance? Do they regulate your nog intake? Or do they just decide based on what you ate? And you know the worst part about not being able to use the bathroom is? You lose your excuse for bailing on a conversation. That's the only reason you go to a bathroom at a party. Now you're just gonna have to be honest. Okay, well, thank you, thank you, yeah, I'm, I've gotta go. No, I, I don't have to use the bathroom. I just don't wanna talk about your kids anymore. Yeah, I, I hate them right now. I don't even know them. Of course, it's at least possible to practice social distancing at a garden party. You can at least try, but it's much more difficult at a sex party. So when authorities in Belgium discovered that people were throwing an orgy in violation of the lockdown, police were sent to break it up. But that's when the real scandal began. A Hungarian member of the European Parliament has resigned after breaking lockdown rules by attending what's been described as a gay sex party in Brussels. Josef Shaya, who has previously backed anti-LGBT legislation in Hungary, admitted attending the party, which was broken up by police. The prosecution in Brussels have simply said that they were there raiding a party which appeared to be breaking coronavirus uh, lockdown restrictions. There are also reports in the Bulgarian media that he tried to run away from the party by climbing down a drain pipe and that uh, he was then caught by the police in the street. Damn! I can't believe a homophobic politician was caught at a gay sex party going down a drain pipe, and then he tried to escape! High five! And by the way, being at an illegal sex party when the police storm in must be so awkward because you don't even realize it's a real police raid until it's too late. Think about it, you probably just assumed that somebody ordered stripper cups. Oh yes, officer, I have been a really naughty boy. Wow, real handcuffs, you take this seriously. <laughs> but yes, my friends, once again, another anti-gay politician has been caught in a gay sex scandal. Which, by the way, there's nothing scandalous about gay sex. The scandal is that they said, we're anti-gay, gay is bad, and it turns out they were doing it. And honestly, part of me feels bad for these politicians because Clearly, they've lived in a society that has made them so terrified of who they are and they hate themselves and the people that they go to these extreme lengths when they don't need to. Half the time, it's not about family values. They just don't want somebody dating their ex. 